Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about something I saw about Texas. Texas um, has eliminated water breaks, as you can see right here. It says several Texans reportedly die from heat exhaustion after governor bans water breaks. And they did this to construction workers. Okay. And you can see Jake in this photo because it's been killing Jake. You know, our people. All right. It's been killing them. You can see right here. It says, uh, as Texas uh, sweltered last month under a week-long record-breaking heat wave the state passed a law that will eliminate mandatory water breaks for construction workers in cities where such ordinances have been in place to protect people from heat exhaustion and as you can see it's backlash from all this you know people dying you know saying from this heat wave man all right and one in particular was a Jake, all right? You know, I guess he was an UPS uh, deliverer. You see the brother right there? It says, confirmed a, a, this, <laughs> confirmed a, le a, a letter carrier died on the job in Dallas Tuesday. Family tells, tells me 66-year-old uh, Elgin Gates collapsed in a front yard and a neighbor performed CPR uh, USPS isn't confirming if the death is heat related at this time the heat index Tuesday was 117 degrees that's how hot it is in Texas and this is the brother right here with his family man so you got Jake out here man just trying to just trying to survive. He probably, you know, you see, Jake be getting caught up, man. You know, when you got a job, man, you, you can't call off sometimes, man. You don't want to, you don't want to lose points. You don't want, you don't want to lose money. You know, things are higher now than they used to be, you know, and I'm pretty sure this man, judging by where he's standing, that's a nice ass house, man. Look like a very nice neighborhood. You know, he's got a, um, a, a government job. I'm guessing, you know, his family, you know, you can look kind of look at background, look like a nice home, man, you know, so you gotta, you gotta, hey, you gotta, gotta go to work, you gotta go to work, you know, and, uh, you know, he's 66 years old, man, and you know what I'm saying, in that heat, you know, he probably collapsed from the heat, more than likely, that's why they say, you know what I'm saying? It has to be confirmed, but come on, man. You know that man died from a heat stroke or something. Uh, and then and then they want to eliminate water breaks, man, from construction workers, man, in Texas. Shit, man, please. That's insane, man. But that's that's Edomite. That's an Edomite ruling over you, man. That's what happens when you let an Edomite rule over you. They can't get a damn water break. Are you insane? You out here working to build up the city, man. You're in construction where you're, you're out here trying to make sure the roads, the pavement on the roads is smooth, take away potholes, man. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're reconstruction, it's re reconstructing the, uh, the the pathway so these vehicles don't get destroyed uh, and, and fucking having uh, potholes and, and sinkholes and things of that nature. You know what I mean? Resurfacing the pavement. You know what I'm saying? Just, just you know what I'm saying? Uh, on the roads, man, just just fixing all kind of stuff, building all kind of things, creating all kind of things, and yo ass can't get a goddamn water break. 
You can't stop for 10 minutes being out there in the blistering sun to just say, all right, everybody sit down, cop a squat, get some water, and we'll get back to it in 10 minutes. Can't even do that, man. Esau won't even let you do that, man. And you doing something for him. That's the devil, man. That's the devil. But Jake wanted to rebel against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's why we in the conditions that we're in. Jake out here dying, trying to trying to keep food on the table, man. All right. Jer Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel a, a, a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? You say to yourself, why is he spoiled? Why is Israel spoiled, man? All right. As a matter of fact, let me let me go ahead and, and get that real quick. Let me see. God damn it! I thought I had that. Thought I had that ready, but I didn't. Um, let me see. Um, let me see. Uh, I know it's like Isaiah forty something. Let me see. Like in the forties, forty-two. Yep. And you say, why is he spoiled? Is Israel homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Here we go, Isaiah forty-two and twenty-two. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snare in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none restore. All right, none, none saith restore. All right, and then you verse twenty four. Jump to verse twenty four. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel two robbers? Did not Yahweh, he against whom we have sinned, for they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient to his law. So we weren't obedient to the law. All right, we weren't obedient to Yahweh by Shai. So guess what? The Lord <laughs> went, came, and sent, and, and and brought them devils. All right, to uh, lord over us. All right, Deuteronomy twenty-eight and fifteen says, "But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I." command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee so we have been under these curses from 16 all the way to 28 if you read them all you'll see all right we 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 have been put under the curses all right and we're still living under the curses all right we're still under the curses to this very day all right The scriptures say that uh, Esau shall be the head and you shall be the tail. All right. So that's what we got to deal with right now, man. All right. Because he's the one that's in control right now. So uh, let me see. Uh. Yeah, I think it's enough. Um, I think it's Haggai. Yeah, yep. Yep. This is Haggai 1 and 6. It says, And ye have sown, sown much, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you but there is none warm and he that earneth wages earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes so that's that's like the life man of of of, our, of just people it period because there because a lot of people are suffering not just jake but it's specifically us man because we're at the bottom of the barrel all right all these other nations come to america and flourish man while jake is still shit shit at the bottom Eating, eating off the crumbs, man. Eating from from the t uh, the table of the wicked. 
All right, getting the crumbs. All right, and plus can't can't prosper anyway because we're under the curses, man. So that's what it is. You know, so hey, man, Jake do what they got to do to earn these wages, man. But <laughs> you dying, man. You dying out here, man. You dying being a slave for the system, man. All right. And you acting like, man, you know, okay, yeah, you know, you a mailman, whatever you get, you get, you know, saying you're getting your money, you know what I mean? Yeah, your government job, you know, say you're getting your pension coming up and da 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 and all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, man, you're still a slave, man. The Lord said that you're a nation of kings and priests. You're, those are not servants, man. All right? You're a servant now, all right? You're a subject to your leaders when you are the leader, all right? We're working toward that right now. We're trying to be leaders of this place, all right? Not just subjects, all right? So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.